We're going on a road trip and it's very exciting. Yep. Oh, I went for a haircut yesterday and look at how much he chopped off. I'm not very it's happy very with short. this. Yeah. It's so short. Yep. I asked for about five inches off. I think she took about 10 off. <laughs> and it's like, literally, could you just hold this? Like, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So my hair's up to here when it's straight. So when it's curly, it's gonna bounce up to about here. <laughs> <laughs> and it used to be like way down past my ass. It used to be really low, yeah. Like, this is like not even my boob. Like, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm not very happy with this. Um, I'm dreading getting it wet. Anyway, I don't even know where we're going. Nor do I. Trash is taking me somewhere trip. on a surprise, which is we're in Leicester at the moment. We've been at my grand's house for a couple of days. I'm standing on her driveway. And her neighbours are all out filming this. But we're going somewhere to like um, a hotel bar weekend type thing. I've been told to bring swimwear so very excited. <laughs> Justin and I have just arrived at <laughs> what's it called? Brids. Bread's Bread's Hall Hall Priory. Priory. I had no idea we were coming here. In fact, I actually fell asleep in the car. <laughs> we just arrived, she just woke me up. It's like, <laughs> he booked this as a bit of a surprise. The weather for the past couple of weeks has been miserable and it's been so depressing. And I just wanted to get away for like a night and go somewhere fun. And I saw a sign saying that this is one of the oldest Marriott's in the world. Um, it looks absolutely stunning. I mean, it is very overcast today, but it's actually quite a mild day so I'm not complaining let me flip the camera around and show you because it is so beautiful very fancy and I feel very out of place because I'm wearing trainers <laughs> just look at this building there's people playing golf as we walked in so stunning okay so as predicted our room is not yet ready to check into it's like 11 a.m <laughs> and check-ins at 4 p.m but we're allowed to use the facilities and that's why just wanted us to come early because there's um a pool here which i'm very very excited about but this is actually but yeah this is actually the world's oldest marriott um let me show you these grounds they're so nice it's actually freezing now i'm so cold but oh it's so beautiful <laughs> this phone that our room's ready i mean we're back in the car anyway <laughs> and they gave us this map because we are parked where that circle is on the right hand side and we need to drive all the way around to like where it says club parking there because our room is on that side of the building so we're gonna go check in now into our room um, there's a desk here which is quite nice there's a TV which I think connects to the internet and YouTube um, which is just great because we need to catch up on Love Island we've missed it for the past few days and it's a very big room it's very shabby but not so chic I would say <laughs> it's not like my favorite kind of hotel to stay in I love boutique hotels it's a bit old oldy worldy for me i guess but yeah it's a really nice room not complaining and the view is absolutely stunning it's just a shame that these windows have a bit of condensation on them so you can't really see properly but the fountain that we were standing at earlier is around there so we had actually parked on the other side of this building all the way sort of that way i think so we had to drive all the way around and now we're gonna go grab a spot of lunch but this is the view 
there. It's one of those um, conjoining rooms, is that what it's called? I'm not too sure. <laughs> but yeah, let me give you a little tour of the bathroom as well. We haven't brought our luggage in yet because we only have one little suitcase anyway, but there we go. And I mean, the bathroom's not very impressive at all. It's a bit skanky if you ask me, but you know, whatever, it's for one night, it'll do. We also have the usual kettle, tea, coffee making facilities, and there's a couple of glasses, a corkscrew, an ice bucket, and a safe. The only thing I'd say this room's missing is a fridge. Just did call to see if we could like, get like a portable fridge or if they have one or have a different room with a fridge but they just don't have fridges in any, in any of their rooms they don't provide portable ones either which is a bit of a shame because we bought like a bottle of Prosecco with us and it's not going to be like cold enough in the car Um, we have left it in there we didn't even put it in the fridge overnight when we were in Leicester last night so yeah it's going to be room temperature which probably isn't very nice so we may not have that tonight but first up we're going to go and have some lunch because it's now like one o'clock and we're actually really hungry. And luckily, the restaurant's actually in the building right next to ours. Um, also, there's no air conditioning in this room, I've just noticed, because I've got a fan inside the wardrobe. So, whatever, that's fine. It's not hot enough for that anyway, yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, um, their lunch menu does not look appealing to me at all. <laughs> and they also have like a bar snacks menu, but like there's really not much i want like I'd, i love mac and cheese but obviously um beef <laughs> i can get some chips i hate sage that's the one thing i cannot stomach at all <laughs> um yeah it's not very pressed baked camembert crispy halloumi and olive tapenade not a fan of burgers oh this is not going well hmm? I might get this one, loaded grilled fritter. It's got like shredded, Where's that? shredded lamb, and coriander. That sounds nice. Shredded lamb, yogurt and coriander. What have they got for me? Pepper, mushroom and spring onion quesadilla. Ooh. Okay, look at the size of my drink. I'm so happy with that. Shall I show them yours? <laughs> Such a killer drink. He's not very impressed. <laughs> Look at that, that's tiny. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Oh, yes. Afro. Cheers. 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 <laughs> so I went with the quesadilla and just had a pita. And of course, we got the Lamb steak fries. Pita. Lamb pita. Lamb. Sorry. <laughs> this had lemon in it, so it tasted really weird. But the waitress is super nice, but they don't have a clue about apple. Um, I asked her to fish the lemon out, asked for orange, and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, we don't have orange, which like strawberries. And I was like, no, it's fine, like, it's not him. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Oh my god, it is so windy. I wish it was like less windy and we could actually sit out here with the rest of my apple, which is going to take me approximately four hours to finish. Um, lunch was alright, it wasn't anything special to be honest, but all the staff here are super friendly and really nice, so that kind of makes all the difference, even if the food isn't that great. I'll just come outside to have a look at the views, and look at this like little arch thing from up here, let me show you. So our room is actually in this building, but on the opposite side, but there's a little arch there, and there's a little car park here. Here's the restaurant. Hi, Jess. Oh my God, we just got caught in this massive downpour of rain. We had about 30 steps to take to our hotel room and we're like running <laughs> with our cocktails and his beer in his hand. And we're like completely drenched. My hair is gonna be destroyed because I didn't bring straighteners. I just got the hairdresser to straighten it yesterday. And it's such a shame because it's chucking it down. We didn't bring any of our luggage, like our laptop or our suitcase and a book to read. <laughs> All our stuff is basically in the car and it's now raining so we can't even use the pool because our swimwear's in there too. <laughs> that is so annoying. Mm. We're just gonna chill for a bit though. Yeah? Yeah, there's no service here. There's no guest. Oh, great. Oh, no there's Wi-Fi there's... either. <laughs> so, <laughs> we literally have nothing to do. Wi-Fi works though, doesn't it? Yep. We don't have anything with us. 
But the good thing is, we have ITV Hub, I think it's called, and we can catch up on Love Island until the rain dies down. High five, Jess. High five. Wait. High five. Let's oh, do this. I've got a beer. What? I've got my Goose Island. Goose Island. Oh, yeah. And I have my Aperol. Whoop, whoop. Oh my god, right. We have just spent. Oh, it's so cold. We've just spent about three hours in the pool. Completely missed our dinner reservation. I've destroyed my hair completely. And I've just had a really quick shower. I'm in the. Sorry, I feel so naked. I'm in the adult only section. Ooh, I think there's people coming in. So cold, we spent about an hour just being bums on the bed in the room and we've had the heating on all day but the room just doesn't seem to get warm. So cold. You have to pull the car out Jess because someone's put really close. That's so weird. Look at this. Can you see it? There's all this like water that's drizzling at the moment, creating a massive puddle right by our car. <laughs> huh. Anyway, it's a horrible day. Like we ordered so much food and the portions were massive. We went to a place called Finale Thai Tapas and Dining and the food was actually really good. I wasn't expecting it to be amazing but I was very pleasantly surprised. Okay, <laughs> now Liz, you've been watching me vlog. It's really weird, like this whole, we're in the city centre, right? Yeah. Mm. But it's like really dead for a Saturday night. Anyway, I'm not even sure if you can see me right now. We are headed back to the hotel. <sighs> to watch Love Island and crash. I don't even want any more drinks. I'm just so... Sorry. Oh, Jess. I don't even want any more drinks. I'm just so full after all that food. It was nice though, wasn't it? Yeah. Their portions were like literally twice the size. Yours was spicy? Yeah, I got that one. She says while furiously blowing his <laughs> nose. Um, Mine was nice though. And their sweet corn cakes. Oh, and they served them with, not cakes, fritters. <laughs> they served them with satay sauce, like my favorite sauce in the world. Not really, but my favorite Asian sauce. Normally it's just sweet chili and I have to always ask for satay. They served it with both here, so I was very impressed. Anyway, stop talking about food. Let's go back to the hotel and take off my makeup. Oh, I brought sheet masks with me. We can do face masks, Jess. Oh yeah. My skin is disgusting at the moment. Um, my eyebrows need to be done. My skin is just awful. A sheet mask isn't going to fix that. I'm aware of this, but maybe it'll give me a bit of added like hydration. And mm. are these people oh, watching my vlog? Don't know. They look at us. Don't know. They look like they are. That point at you, are they? That's good. Yeah. The thing. Okay, people are pointing at me. I'm just gonna go, um, and I might do a sheet mask well, later on. <laughs> okay, back in the hotel room, we have Love Island ready to watch. I don't know what that is. 
And these are the sheet masks I bought. I picked these up in TK Maxx, obviously, ages ago. We have a glowing skin sheet mask and a refreshing one. And I also bought two eye masks with me. These are Elizabeth Grant and they're hydrating eye pads. What do you want to do, Jess? Face or eye? Face. I'm thinking face too. Do you want glowing or refreshing? Can I have glowing? Go on. <laughs> Do you want refreshing? Refreshing is fine. Although this sounds gross, it says it contains egg white. Yours contains apple, so. My five or eight. These will be good though, because they're Korean ones, they're not like British ones. Oh my god, look, I'm about to rob a bank. I'm trying so hard not to laugh at Jas though, because he looks hilarious. Can I put you on camera? I got panda eyes. <laughs> I feel really grossed out by mine because it says it contains egg white. Like, I do eat eggs, but I'm really funny about them. And, oof, it makes you feel a bit sick because it's quite slimy. I hope it's not, like, fresh egg white. I hope it's, like, a flavouring. It's not going to be, is it? I'll poached eggs instead. That's what makes you feel sick when they're all, like, soft and, like, runny. So good, eh? No, they're, like, properly cooked. They're fine, like an omelette. Like... It's when you get like a a fried egg that's got, got, got all gooey bits that looks like phlegm. Oh, I just can't do it, it's horrible. Sorry, that's really gross, isn't it? You know what, I feel like the only time I ever do sheet masks is literally in hotels because I don't actually find that they're that effective. Like, they, they're fine, but they're not like amazing. They're great for like a little boost of hydration. So I always pack them in my suitcase whenever I travel and then whenever I land at the other end, wherever I'm going, like long distance of course, then I'll do a sheet mask, but I don't find that that amazing. In fact, recently I've been sent quite a lot of masks, like clay masks, a glitter one that was just horrific, um, and a few others. And to be quite honest, there's only one mask out of every single one I've tried in life that is the best mask in the world and that's the Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme one and I repurchased that one for the first time which actually arrived didn't it a few days ago at home but we haven't been at home it's just the best mask in the world if there's only one face mask you buy in life make sure it's that one I will leave a link to it down below because it varies quite a lot in price online um, and this is the cheapest place to buy it so I'll leave a link to it but you can instantly see your skin and it just glows for three days straight it's just the best mask in the world anyway I'm gonna stop talking now and just watch Love Island because I'll be here forever otherwise he looks oh. so funny creepy <laughs> that's what you need for Halloween <sighs> this is also gonna like put moisture into my hair isn't it did not think this through. Morning. I kind of woke up like this. I have had a shower. <laughs> I'm trying not to wash my hair. I fell asleep during Love Island last night and my skin feels really nice. I fell asleep with the face mask on too, but my eyes really sore. I think some of the um, juice from the face mask dripped into my eye. But now we are off for breakfast before I come back and get ready. So I'll maybe take you with me depending on how busy it is there. <laughs> a little post breakfast nap which I love doing in hotels and we're just checking out we got a late checkout because it was chucking it down this morning just trying to check whether we've left anything in the room and we haven't we've taken all the bags to the car we're now checking out and the sun is out I want to explore the grounds a little bit more go for a bit of a walk take some pretty photos if I can I'm really thirsty actually this hotel like they don't give you bottles of water here which is a bit weird um, also a bit annoying because I get through a ton of water and for the first time in my life I didn't bring any water with me. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some water maybe at reception or at the bar. Then go for a little walk. Um, I don't think it's raining yet. It does look like it's going to. But, oh no, it is raining. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay, <laughs> I really wanted to take some nice photos of the building, but we might actually sit down on our laptops for a little bit and do some work because, like I said, I've been in Leicester for the past couple of days before we got here, and whenever I'm in Leicester, I just didn't even have time to, like, read my emails. I just turn my laptop on, and they just load, and somebody calls me, and I have to go and do something, and... 
I have quite a lot of emails to get through, a few that are quite urgent, so you might just sit down for a bit and hopefully the rain will die down and we can explore before we leave here. But yeah, let me go and check out now. <laughs> oh, it's raining. And we have to drive all the way back round to reception to check out because actually the breakfast area was right by reception and it was like running a half marathon first thing this morning. It was so far away <laughs> we had to get up and down those stairs. But yeah, here we go. I think this is the reception, right? Yep. Just going off to just as I ran into the car, the rain stopped. But look at the state of my hair. I had to stop saying that in this video. Oh my god, you scared me! So I can't. That was so scary. Jess asked to borrow a an umbrella at reception, but look at this. I'm trying to find a way like to get behind this water fountain to take a photo of this. Um that's what the building looks like, it's so pretty. It's also really warm today. Like I've got I can feel pollen in my nostrils. God. I keep seeing squirrels running up this tree, but every time I pull out my camera, they run away. <laughs> Also, I think this is like a pet cemetery. It took me a while to figure out what it is. Well, the gravestones are too close together to be humans. Also, I've lost Jas. <laughs> he went somewhere down there and I was like, I'm taking the umbrella in case there's another downpour because I'm not getting my hair wet. <laughs> Found him. <laughs> I hope you can see him. There he is. <laughs> now, Jess and I are headed to Leicester on our way back to London. We were going to sit in the lounge area of the hotel and do some work, but it really smells in there like somebody died or like feet or like French cheese. It was just awful. And I was like, I cannot sit in here. And it was just like sofas. It wasn't like tables or desks to sit there like properly with your laptop so i think what we're just gonna do is just leave and head to leicester basically it's father's day today in the uk i think it's father's day is the same date in every country and mother's day is always different it's really weird anyway it's father's day today i even though we left leicester yesterday morning my sister randomly decided to come to leicester to surprise my dad and my granddad last night and she's still there not for very long and then my little cousins Minnie, me and her sister they finished their GCSEs and A-levels um, last week so they've come to Leicester for a few days to surprise my granddad and so I just thought the whole family there I get really bad FOMO <laughs> and so seeing as we're just in Derby and we have to kind of go past the junction for Leicester anyway we'll just sort of stop off there have a quick coffee and then head home I think right yeah um yeah hopefully we'll time it just right because they've already Everyone's already arrived and had lunch and they've all like gone out shopping. So on a time it's so that everyone's all at home when we arrive, otherwise it's a bit of a waste. So yeah, let's go. Surprise! That was a fail. Um, it's literally just my gran at home. My cousins have literally just popped out to the shops and my sister's not here either, so <laughs> that was a complete fail. And now they'll know we're here because our car's parked on the driveway. But we're gonna have some lunch first because there's always food in this house and we're starving. <laughs> I didn't really vlog much at home because it was just so busy like pretty much the entire family was there we were all just sat there catching up and Jess and I didn't stay for very long we are currently halfway back to London we're on the motorway but there's just so much traffic it's pretty much 40 miles an hour so we just stopped off at the service station we're gonna grab a quick coffee and maybe sit inside and have it and wait for the traffic to die down a little bit and then go back home but yeah so I thought I would just end this vlog here and um, when I get back home I've just got loads of like bits and pieces 
places to do around the house, like change the bed sheets, do a bit of laundry, unpack from this weekend or the past four days, um, and just a few boring bits like that. So yeah, I thought I'd just end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.